Fellas, I know that I just made a Last of Us 2 video, but I'm sorry this post right here was like a golf club to the back of my head because 2020 is the gift that keeps on giving. Now I'm gonna tell you something that you probably already know. The anticipated more supply than demand of us part two is a mockery and naughty doggy style deserves endless ridicule. But I know Neil Small PP Drunkman would be trying to flag these videos down if he wasn't so busy re-watching he's for the 52nd time in Joe Biden's basement. Now before we get started, if you didn't know my channel is beyond f I receive threatening messages from YouTube almost on a daily basis. So if you want me to continue making these, you have to subscribe. But more importantly, look under the video and ring my bell, baby. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I need all of you to mark your calendars. It's a gargantuan occasion in our history. The date is September 26th, 2020. The National Abbey Zilla getting piped from behind day. Yes, it's the day we all bleached our eyes in unison after watching Neil Cuckman's weird sexual fantasy play out, but the part where I physically recoiled in horror is when Abby Zilla was done getting clapped, she then deeply professed, it's my turn, cut to black. But imagine being so woke that you're worried about offending people about a fictional event in a video game, so stunning and brave. Here's the skinny you donkey, I'm not offended by the word outbreak. You absolute delusional spineless dork. But what I'm actually offended by though is the barrage of false flagging. The marketing campaign that included shutting channels such as myself for simply having an opinion which ironically made me make fun of you even more. Oh and how can I forget when Naughty Dog flagged themselves. A censorship so extreme and flagrant they managed to censor their own content. That is what happens though when you swing the DMCA so hard that it swings back back and hits you in the head like a golf club. I gotta say, that was B-E-A-U to fool, but what else offended me though was the misleading advertisement of a hugely beloved character who was treated merely as an extension of Tiger Woods' new PGA golf game. Let's be honest, Neil, you killed Joel off because he only believed in two genders. That was enough for you to kill him off like a dog, but in my head canon, Joel read the script for The Woke of Us Part 2 and blew his brain out right there and then. Okay, look, joking aside, this is a classic case of an out of touch, soy laden c trying to make a statement in order to support whichever nonsensical woke agenda is popular at the moment, but only makes it worse by pouring more oil into the fire. Something else that made me chuckle is that they apparently said they have future plans for the franchise. Oh really, because I thought it died from an aggressive case of too much wokeness. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching, Manix out.